let's move on now and talk about racism. There's different levels of racism. There's cross-the-street racism, and then there's burn-across racism. And somewhere in between, there's this Heineken ad. This morning, Heineken taking some heat over a controversial commercial that many are calling racist. The ad shows a bartender sliding a light beer down the bar, so it goes past a black woman, a black musician, another black woman, but the beer stops next to a glass of white wine with this caption, sometimes lighter is better. Ah, uh, Heineken, why? <laughs> what were you doing? Like, how are you gonna make an ad where you say lighter is better, and then you slide a beer past all the dog people <laughs> like it's some kind of racist curling? What are you doing? <laughs> like, and that's... Can I be honest? That's not even my biggest issue with this ad. I, like, I want to understand how the hell that bottle got to the woman at the end, right? Because it somehow slides from the bar to a totally different bar <laughs> past black lady number one, right? Then it goes under black guitarist dude's legs. <laughs> Then magically, it's up onto a tray. I don't even know where this tray is. Where's the background? What's going on here? And then it says, bye, Felicia, to black lady number two. <laughs> and then it shows up on another part of the bar. This ad is anti-black people and anti-physics. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the part that gets me. And, you know, honestly, this happens so much now, I almost wonder if it's really an accident, you know? Like, all these ads. Because you, you realize with DVRs and streaming, people can just skip commercials now, right? The only time we get to see ads is when they show up in the news for being racist. <laughs> Like, I bet the ad guys are putting racism into ads just to get our attention. It's like, okay, guys, I don't feel good about this, but if we want this Home Depot commercial to pop, we're gonna have to stick a Klansman into it, okay? <laughs> People need to know about the sale on table saws. Come on, guys. <laughs> so, look, uh, this was a screw-up on Heineken's part, uh, but they've apologized, they've pulled the ad, and they said that next time they'll go with their original slogan, niggas love this shit. <laughs> You know what, like, this thing, this kind of thing keeps happening, right? And if, if you're a brand out there that doesn't want to be in the news for the wrong reasons, you need to bring in a professional. Uh, but if you can't afford a professional, then we've got just the man for you. Are you a big-time ad agency that has no black people? Do you keep making mistakes like monkey shirt, racism refreshments, a protest snack, you smoking crack? Don't be the next company to get towed up by black Twitter. With Leo Devlin's Ask a Black service, you can consult an actual black person before you launch an ad campaign. It's like having your very own black friend that you pay for. Now, what about Mammy Jammies? Uh, nope. Make the Kool-Aid man a watermelon. Uh, get that shit out of here. We see a slave. No, you don't. The hell is wrong with you? And I know what you're thinking. Leo, you are a big, strong, handsome man. But I'm advertising to women. Well, Ask a Black has you covered there, too. You can just run it by my wife, Leah Devlin. Leah Devlin gonna straighten your ass out. What y'all need to stop doing oh, is... Oh, oh, baby, don't give it to him for free. It ain't but $85. You can get that from your mama. So remember, before you run an ad you can't take back, Ask, ask a Black! black. Ask a Black Institute of Poverty. Exit 120 by the fairgrounds, next to Little Caesars. Ask a Black.